Hey everybody, it's Cam. Today is Friday. I am on my lunch break at work. I'm not delivering or anything. I just um, wanted to do a video um, because I was thinking about this and um, yeah. I don't know what happened to Grubhub, but oh my God, it's terrible now. I can't get a block at all. So I am getting leftover offers which are long distances for a low amount of money. And you're gonna to have to sit there for 20 minutes till the order's ready, because they send you right when they send the order to the restaurant. So not only is the pay low, mileage high, the wait time is long, so it's just gonna suck overall. Um, I haven't done a Grubhub in a couple weeks and you know what last night went out I didn't even turn it on although I did turn it on because I heard that the app changed and I wanted to see what it looked like but I still have the old version I guess because it looks exactly the same and while I had it on looking I got two crappy orders I did not take them so um, I don't know Grubhub used to be one of my favorites but I don't even really want to open it up anymore so that's kind of sad, but you know, it is what it is. And um, DoorDash is the most busy for me. I get the most offers from DoorDash. Um, Uber Eats at night is good. During the day, it's not. So, um, but you know what? Now that I think of it, I think I only got one Uber Eats um, delivery offer the entire night last night. So that's kind of crazy. We did decent. We were out, my husband and I, I think about two and a half hours, a little under two and a half hours, I think. Anyways, we got like $81. So that was good. You know, it's not fantastic, but it's definitely good. Um, and they were all DoorDash except for one Uber Eats. So, um, yeah, I don't know. I don't know what's going on. Obviously, the economy is different now. People are free to go out as they want now. The mask mandates have been lifted, so people have more freedom. Um, and um, this whole thing with Russia and Ukraine, I'm sure is on everyone's mind. Um, so anyways, there's a lot of things going on and maybe that's why, but look, it's been really pretty slow. And anyway, so my main purpose of this video was just to talk about Grubhub and how it's just terrible. And if you're doing Grubhub and getting great orders, good for you. Um, I think part of the problem is because I'm not able to get any blocks. I log in right at the time on Saturday mornings and they're all gone. So. <laughs> talk about this commercial that I saw their new like slogan on time lowest price or we'll make it right okay they're gonna be making it right a lot there's no way that they're the gonna get there on time because they're not accounting for the 20 25 minutes that the driver has to wait for the food um, unless they're extending out the time that it's gonna be ready an extra half hour or something. Um, they said lowest price too, I don't know about that. They are all overpriced, so I'm not sure um, if they're the lowest price compared to um, Uber Eats and DoorDash for the customer, I have no idea. Like I said before, I don't order from these apps. I, To me, it's not worth it to pay all the extra money. I'll just go get the food myself. But um, anyways, that was interesting. On time. I wonder how many times it actually is on time, if ever. That, I don't know, Grubhub's not worth it to me. So anyways, yeah, I just wanted to talk about that. I don't know, Grubhub has some issues right now and hopefully they figure them out or um, 
they're just gonna lose drivers and they're gonna lose customers because I'm sure the customers are not happy waiting an hour for the, anyways, whatever. I just wanna talk about that real quick. So that's it. That's the whole extent of this entire video. Thanks for watching.